Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video I wanted to talk about two things. I actually wanted to talk about the theoretical concept of Black Dwarf that you see in front of you that I was able to create using a very unusual bug in the game, which is actually the second topic we're going to cover. I'm going to show you how to recreate this using Universe Sandbox Square. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So let me just actually erase this beautiful creation that I've made uh, previously and I'm going to show you what the black dwarfs are first by essentially going into stars here and adding um, a white dwarf. Now white dwarf is the future of our own sun. Our sun after many 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 years and specifically we're talking about something about uh, something like six billion years will expand and become um, a red giant first and then it will actually lose its shell and turn into something very similar to Sirius B right here it will become a white dwarf a relatively small object as uh, as stars go this is actually only about the size of earth actually there's earth right there uh, and way 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 smaller than um, than our sun which is actually going to be huge in comparison to this uh, white dwarf now with time though this white dwarf will lose its heat it basically will cool down and eventually become very 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 dim which i'm going to show you right now but just by decreasing the temperature and then eventually stop uh, releasing heat cool down to about five degrees kelvin which is basically five degrees above absolute zero and turn completely completely dark this is what we today call as the black dwarf it's a very theoretical concept for one simple reason there uh, we don't actually know if they exist now actually theoretically they shouldn't exist at all because this process that you see right now would not be that fast it would actually take up to about quadrillion years that's actually um one followed by 15 zeros years that's a lot of a lot of years that's a long long time it's way 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 longer than we can even imagine basically our universe currently is only about um 13.7 13.8 billion years um this uh number that we're talking about that it would take uh, for white dwarf to turn into a black dwarf is ridiculously higher so we think that these don't exist yet but let's actually just make it cool down to about five degrees kelvin so there we go that uh, that this right here is a typical very very sort of theoretical but also very likely concept or very likely thing to occur to most white dwarfs so we think all of them will at, at some point become this and this will basically be sometime in the future of our own of our own galaxy and possibly uh the whole universe so maybe in the, the entire universe will actually be filled with these so-called uh black dwarfs as uh various stars basically cool down and turn into these black objects and so that's really all we know about them. It's a very theoretical concept. Uh, um, one only th thing I haven't mentioned about them is that uh, the actual surface here would be very, very smooth. There would be almost no mountains. It would be um, composed almost entirely of carbon. So I'm going to actually change this right here. It would be almost entirely carbon um, with maybe some oxygen. And it would basically be about uh, size of Earth. So basically, they're all going to be very dark um very dense but also very smooth black objects that would re release no heat and would be very very hard to detect the only reason we would basically be able to see this is because if there's another object orbiting around them like for example our own earth right there there it is we would then be able to see it but it wouldn't obviously steam that much because this would be a very cold object so earth technically shouldn't really be that hot right now it's currently at about 120 degrees and um, rising but because this is a cold object it would actually be very cool so um let, let me actually show you a really interesting bug in this game this is what i discovered very recently while making one of the videos if you place a, a gas giant right here specifically uh, i'm going to just place jupiter oh, its name is black dwarf uh, and here's a very very cool thing that you can do with it go into powers here and then in under materials we're going to disable auto adjustment because that will actually change this value automatically and then we're going to set the mass particle value to 20 jupiters just by going here you click jupiter and then you write 20. so now if i actually launch uh, if i pause my game first and i launch I, I think like 15 of them like one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five which is essentially like launching 300 jupiters at this one jupiter and this is what's going to happen they're going to slowly approach uh, Jupiter as one big chunk. 
and at some point when they actually hit him, boom, it turns into this very, very beautiful black dwarf nova remnant. Now, depending on how many Jupiters you launch at it, uh, this will change dramatically. It will actually be either very bright star, is a very, very unusual looking star. But if you, if you launch exactly 20, um, or sorry, 15, but exactly 300 Jupiters, it will become this. And, and this is not only is this actually a black dwarf, but this is a black dwarf neutron star, which is, I don't think it's a concept that even exists. But if we actually click on it right now, and if we look under materials here, you'll see that it actually has uh, a magnetic field charge, which you can totally increase by adding numbers here. And there you go. Look at that. This is a very beautiful, very unusual object. Clearly a bug, but I, this is probably one of the coolest bugs I found recently. Once again, completely by mistake. Now, if I do this again, but this time launch a different amount of material, like for example, let's just do 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In other words, it's about 400 Jupiters. If I launch 400 Jupiters at this one Jupiter, it will probably become a slightly different object. Uh, so depending on how many you, you launch, this bug sort of changes the star. Okay, so maybe 400 is still the same. Uh, let's see if we can maybe increase this a little bit just by adding them manually here. No, nothing happens. All right, so let's uh, just launch a huge amount of them. So this right here is going to be 200 Jupiters, and this is what happens if you launch only 200 Jupiters. It becomes a regular star. And if instead of pausing the game, you actually launch them individually one by one, and you just keep launching them at this Jupiter uh, as you basically move around your camera, this is what's going to happen. It's it will, it's going to start changing to different objects, and you can actually create something like this. A very interesting, super, super bright um, pulsar-like star, which is not really a, a real object either. Um, it's not a natural object, at least. Uh, it's basically a star that has a really strong magnetic field, but you can change this to realistic mode, and it will actually turn into a real pulsar. So anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video and briefly mention the Black Dwarfs, about which we know very little other than it's basically a theory that will hopefully or maybe one day become true. But by then, I think we're all going to be gone because we're talking about quadrillion years, a number that is so huge that it's just ridiculous. And I also showed you how to use this bug in the game and create these beautiful objects. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later. And as always, bye bye. And here is the pulsar as it waves around, creating these beautiful, unusual patterns. And we're going to take a look at its eye and get mesmerized by this beauty. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share this video, and consider supporting us on Patreon. Bye-bye.